William F. Cody wore this beaver-trimmed coat while he was a scout for the Army in the early 1870s. It is made of tanned buffalo skin and is decorated with wool and Eastern Plains-style beadwork. The coat traveled with Buffalo Bill from the western frontier onto the theatrical stage when he made his debut in 1872. Artists and illustrators have shown plainsmen in the West wearing fringed and decorated coats like this since at least the 1830s. By the time Cody became employed as a civilian scout and guide for the Frontier Army in 1868, fringed jackets had become symbolic of the kind of men who made their reputations in bringing civilization to the western wilds. By the second half of the 19th century, western-themed stories had made it to theater stages in the East, and actors naturally chose fringed, decorated clothing to convey the frontiersman image to their audiences. Buffalo Bill and other members of his theater troupe wore moccasins, beadwork, and other colorful items to enhance their public images. In 1872, dime novelist Ned Buntline adapted one of his books about Buffalo Bill for the stage and hired actors to perform it. Cody saw the show during a visit to New York City and Buntline tried to convince him to stay and play himself for the audience. Buffalo Bill initially declined and went back to the Plains, but in the summer of 1872, Cody's friend and fellow scout, Texas Jack Omohundro, convinced him to give acting a try. Buffalo Bill and Texas Jack made their theatrical debut performing in the play Scouts of the Prairie on December 17, 1872. They were panned by the critics, but audiences loved seeing real frontier characters playing themselves, no matter how bad the play. Once, Cody's wife Louisa was in the audience, and in the middle of the action he shouted to her, Oh, Mama, I'm a bad actor. He harbored no illusions about his talent, but Cody knew that he could make money by entertaining people, and so Buffalo Bill the Showman began his 40-year-long career in front of the public.